out into the field tomorrow and I purchased me a Magpul half inch cheek riser. I have one of these on my 6.5 Grendel that you can see here. This is the 0.75 inch one. And I'm gonna line this up back to back. You can see it's slightly higher there. And these do a really awesome job of getting your head perfectly lined up into the scope where you're not having to adjust your head up and down, which will cause some accuracy issues. But these things have a known problem. Check this out right here. When you pull the charge handle back, it comes into full contact right there. And let me show you again on this side. I don't know if I'll be able to do this one handed or not. Full contact right there. I'm gonna show you what I did to my 6.5 Grendel one. I trimmed it down with a Dremel, and I'm gonna show you the process today of how I did that. So if you take your cheek riser and turn it into the side here, I'm outside so you can see this in the sun, there's a line that's right there. It doesn't go all the way through, but you can follow it on there. It's probably just a molding line right there, and that is the line that I used to cut with my Dremel. If you haven't dremeled with plastic before, this is an extremely messy process to protect everything that is valuable to you. Dear Magpul, this should have never been an issue. Problem now solved. Today I'm gonna to introduce you to the good, the bad, and the ugly when it comes to primer pockets. In my last video, I showed you a couple of failed to fire rounds. You could see some light hammer strikes from the firing pin here. Um, all you do to test this is you take three new primers, as you can see here, and you take your case, you put it on top of one, and this is the good one, and it's very difficult and it won't, even, it won't even go on there. This is the bad one. Take your case, put it on top, if I could get it to line up. As you can see, it swallowed it right up like nothing. And this is the ugly one. Do the same thing, repeat it. Look at that, it literally just pops right on there. I could probably slide that off if I wanted to. So I usually test rounds until they fail. And this is what happens when you shoot a load that's way too hot. You can literally blow out your primer pockets. Good, bad, and the ugly.